that 3D movie, it's called How to Train Your Dragon? Well, I've got five tips for you how to train your dragon, and we know who that dragon is. Okay, so tip one, we have to first submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's what the word says. What does resist mean? It just means resisting those character traits of the enemy. Don't be controlled by them any longer. And number two is put on your godly armor. Read Ephesians 6:11. Read it through. We should be putting on our helmet of salvation every day. We put on that breastplate of righteousness, which is Jesus. And number three is make noise, make lots of noise, because the enemy wants you silent. He, he wants to get you in that place where you're not praising God. And you know, I'm sure we've all been there. It's like, oh, I just can't praise God right now. I'm just going through so much. But you know, when we make noise and even um, through our circumstances, we just keep giving thanks to God. We keep giving praise. It's the atmosphere that he hates and he's going to, he's going to flee because he won't get a word edgewise. Okay, so number four is <clears throat> guard your lips. See that? I was talking my lips and I'm already eh. Anyway, guard your lips from grumbling and complaining. And because you know what happens with grumbling and complaining? Next you know it leads to taking offense. Because you know it's amazing when you repeat something over and over again to somebody, to somebody, to somebody. Next thing you know, you've got a full bore offense taken out on somebody, which leads can lead to unforgiveness and of course that awful root of bitterness which you don't want. So don't put yourself in that situation. Don't even let yourself get to that place of grumbling and complaining because you know what? The dragon's going to come in, park himself on your couch and he's going to stay a while. Okay, so and lastly, number five, refuse to be afraid. This is the one tactic the enemy uses over and over again. He wants us to be afraid he, because fear immobilizes us. It freezes us from doing anything. And if he can get us in that place where we're not doing anything, we're not responding in any way, then he's, he's getting the victory. So you know what? We no longer have to be controlled by guilt and shame and fear and pride any longer. You know what? God has given us the power. We have the Holy Spirit that indwells within us. We have the power from within. And you know what? There's a restraining order on the dragon, and it was signed at the cross. So start training that dragon to stay away from your emotions, stay away from your family, your finances, everything that's near and dear in your heart. Just keep speaking the word and just telling them, you're not the boss of me anymore.